Hi everyone, so I'm back. So on this second part of the tutorial for the AWS series, we're going to set up the uh, Amazon RDS. Uh, we're going to start a MySQL server and then we're going to try to connect to it using PHP my admin and uh, the MySQL monitor, also maybe MySQL workbench. So let's start where we left off. So from the last tutorial, we set up the Amazon EC2. So let's just quickly recap that. So we started the server, we installed Nginx on it. So uh, Nginx is now running. So to get started with uh, Amazon RDS, go to the services tab on your console on AWS and click on RDS. And from here, just click on get started. And we're all after the freebies here, so click on free eligible only and click on MySQL and then click select. Uh, it's going to ask you for the DB details, so keep everything standard, all default. Uh, DB instance class, this one we're going to pick the T2 micro, which is the newer one. T1 micro is the older version that they have, so let's pick T2. And storage type, everything should be defaulted because it's free tier, so general purpose SSD for the Free tier, you're eligible up to 20 gigs, so let's take advantage of that. Let's select 20 gigs, and for the settings, we need uh, identifier for this DB instance. So I'm gonna say uh, web server, and put a username. So I'm gonna put web server as well, and put a password. So remember your username and password. This is what you're going to use to connect to your MySQL instance later. So click on next. And this one, it's going to ask you for the advanced settings. First is the network and security. You could keep all the defaults. If you followed my previous tutorial, I already created the e-security group. So I'm just going to select that. And for the database name, and just give a name for your database. I'm gonna call my database uh, Concepto. Yeah, put small letters. Um, and then keep the port default 3306. And mm, no IAM here and then for the backup I'm just gonna put this to maybe one because the more backup storage you use that's the time you accrue some charges so I'll keep this one monitoring no allow auto minor upgrades yes and maintenance window no preference if you yep for the eligible there's no preference option so click on launch and this should start the DB instance. It's gonna take some time though. It's gonna create it and then provision it and then fire it. So I'll jump back again once this is finished. So our instance is finally launched. So let's inspect it. So let me just yep. So we now have an endpoint. There's no inbound permission. We need to fix that later on the security group. But uh, the next one, let's check on this one. So we have the endpoint, which is what we need. We just need to fix this inbound permission with the security group. So let's open that security group. So let me select this. I'm going to change the inbound and I'm going to add my SQL as a rule. So where is my SQL and it should be port and should be I'm gonna just specify open to anywhere and save and if I jump back to my services jump back to my instance open the web server 
and it's now otherwise. So let's go back to that configuration details. So what we need here is the endpoint. So copy the endpoint. Uh, first, let's try to connect using the MySQL uh, monitor. So I'm going to open my terminal. And I'm going to switch to my so mm, local my SQL monitor. Oops. Uh, CD user local my SQL. There you have it. So I have uh, my SQL locally installed on my machine. So if I try that, get this. So now let's try to connect to that new server. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so the command is MySQL flag H and put in your endpoint. And P would be the port, so 3306. And flag U, which would be the username. So the username is web server. And then the password would be the password you specified earlier. There you have it. We're connected to this MySQL instance. So that's how you do it from the command line. So let's try doing it from PHP. So I'm going to exit this. So to get PHP, I have another tutorial on how to set up PHP locally on your machine. So same concept, download PHP on your machine and install that. The requisite to that is you should have PHP already installed on your machine and when you install this package. So I already downloaded this earlier. Let me just jump to that folder so I could quickly show you. Yep, so I have PHP my admin. This is the latest version that I just downloaded. So I'm going to unzip that. And I'm going to rename this to RDS PHP my admin. So if I visit my local host, I should have RDS PHP my admin in there. There's a configuration file here to do the setup, so I'll jump into the setup. So just put uh, go setup on the URL and you'll get to here. So from here on the overview, click on new server. And these are just basically the details you need to put. So plug in the Endpoint, so I'll copy this again. And port would be 3306. I'm going to jump to the authentication bit. So I'm going to select cookie and user for config auth would be web server. And then the password. I'm going to hit apply. Um, yep, that's fine. And I'm going to download this file. I'm going to download the config inc file to the sites to the same sites folder. So if I jump to the R RDS page from admin, save it there. Cool. Now I'm going back to my root RDS PHP folder. So from here, just change the login details to web server and then your password. There, go. there you have it. So I'm now connected to the instance uh, server is the MySQL server we just launched. And you can start. And there's my database concept of. Yeah. Uh, Next, you could also try connecting using MySQL Workbench. So just visit mysql.com products workbench and you could download this one. So there's versions for it for Windows, Mac, and um, I think Linux. Yeah, so download, I already downloaded this earlier as well. I already have it installed. So let me just quickly show you how to set this up. So let me go back to my finder, my SQL workbench. Yep. 
So same here, I have my local MySQL running. I'm just gonna click on this plus icon and put in the host, same port, and username. I'm gonna name this RDS DB and click OK. And yep, and it should ask me for the password, so click five. And that's it. As you can see, it's now connected. There's my database concepto, and that's how you connect your MySQL client to your RDS. So I showed you how to connect using the MySQL monitor. I also showed you how to connect using PHP my admin, which you could check my tutorial previously on how to set this up locally on your machine. And using MySQL Workbench. So on MySQL Workbench, you don't need to have PHP running on your machine. You just need to have the software running. So that's it. If you like this tutorial, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Next tutorial, we're going to try to install WordPress on that EC2 instance. Bye for now.